Robin. Wow. The house technician told me this was the only way to have a 100 gigabit internet connection in the stage. <laughs> so, this better work. Brothers and sisters, online shopping is dangerous. Everybody, take out your cell phones, please. Do it now. Take out your smartphones, turn them on, and call someone. I'm dead serious. Actually, do it now. Take out your smartphones, call anybody who speaks decent English and who owns a smartphone. Do it now. Call anybody outside this room, someone you know, and as soon as the person answers their phone, stand up so we can see that you're talking to someone. Actually, do it. Take out your phone. Maybe you don't know who to call. You can call someone you don't like if you want to. That would be very entertaining. Or maybe all your friends live in Europe. Then you can wake them up. Or you can call your hotel receptionist. You can call someone you haven't talked to in years. Perfect opportunity. Stand up as soon as you're talking to someone. There are a few people standing. I would like to ask the jury to choose one of them. Someone who seems friendly. Which, the guy over here? What's your name, sir? Soho? So I will call you Steve. Don't hang up. Everybody else say, can say goodbye to whoever you're talking to and sit back down. Thank you so much for doing this. Steve, who are you talking to? My mom. Uh, your mom, not my mom. Uh, wait there for a second. Tell your mom. Tell your mom she should stay close to the phone. You'll call her back in a minute. She should not go to the bathroom. And then you can hang up and make your way up to the stage. These are my terms of service. Steve, by coming on stage, you declare that you've read and agreed to them. Hello, Steve. Nice to meet you. Come over here, please. You can stand right here. Steve, everybody. Steve, what is your mother's first name? Cho, spelled in English with C-H-O. And her last name? Hey Young? Spelled? Uh, Fester? Born in? Ah, I found her! I found her! Great! That means she's in trouble. In a few moments, this computer will print out a prediction about your mother. I'm using special software, it's 100% legal in some countries, and I'm using it to hack into your mother's shopping accounts. This gives me access to... One moment... Ha! 138 terabytes of data that the internet has collected about your mother. She should be more careful. What I'm saying is this. The internet knows what your mother is going to buy even before she knows it herself. Call her back. The prediction goes up here on the cable. Tell her she's practically standing on stage in front of 2,000 people and on TV. Ask her if she's willing to participate. You can sit down and then hand me your phone regardless of whether she says yes or no. If she did go to the bathroom, all of this would be in vain if she now turned off her phone. She's there. Hand me the phone, please. Hello, Cho. This is Jan Yugo. Thank you for helping us. We have, um, in a minute or so, you can choose one thing that you would like to buy on the internet. We've printed out a prediction and your son will later tell you what it says, all right? Good. One more. E easy, easy. In a few minutes, I'll be kicked off the stage anyway. You'll be done by then. No problem. So, do you have a computer nearby or a smartphone with internet access? That'll be enough. Um, put your phone on speaker mode so you have both hands free. 
and as quickly as you can, go on the American website, Amazon.com. The American website.com. Steve, you may already have a guess what item your mother might choose. You must not say anything. Regardless of what happens, you keep an absolute poker face. Understood? So, can I also put you on speakerphone here so that everybody else can hear you? You are wonderful, thank you. Would you hold this for a minute? Can you still hear me? Yeah. Good. So, you are now looking at the Amazon homepage, is that correct? Yes. Good. We're all ama amazed by how calm you are. Most people would have freaked out by now. If you look at the top left corner next to the search bar, you can choose one of 45 search categories. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yes. Good. Please choose one category that you're actually interested in. Which one do you want? Um, Don't think about it. Just pick one. Uh, toys and games. What's that? Toys and games. Toys and games. Yes. Choose that and type in any search term that you want. Any word or subject that you feel some connection to? What do you want? Uh, water. Water. Yeah. Good. Search for water. Everybody else remember toys and games and water. So from the search results, please choose one item that costs 10 US dollars or less. Which one do you want? Uh, there's three or four. It doesn't matter. Pick any one. Do you have one? Which one did you choose? A plastic seahorse. A plastic seahorse. Good. Uh, thank you, Joe. You did that brilliantly. Uh, this is your applause. <laughs> so, so you should restart your browser as soon as you hang up. Steve will later tell you how all this turned out. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Uh, Steve, thank you for your phone. I'll give you 2,000 won for your phone bill. Thank you very much. Take that. You can sit back down. Thank you, Steve, everybody. Brothers and sisters. internet can control our lives. The big question becomes, who can control the internet? This prediction has been hanging out there all this time. And the computer says, Cho will choose the category toys and games, the search word water, and the item plastic Horse! Oh. Oh.